Welcome back as we are, uh, of course, uh, celebrating Christmas here in Egypt and Egyptian Copts or Orthodox are uh, 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 holding festivities and uh, rejoicing uh, with all Egyptians also because they are the origin of Egypt. And as we are uh, holding the festivities for Christmas and uh, remembering uh, the uh, beautiful history uh, and uh, the stories of, of Jesus Christ and Virgin Mary and how it all started and all this. Uh, today we're going to be uh, taking uh, a quick look or a flashback into the history, uh, the Coptic history. And uh, we're very delighted to be having with us Mr. Ehab Wagdi, a tourism expert and a historian. Good morning, Good morning. Uh, Mr. Wagdi. We need to learn more about the flight of the Holy Family. Of course, we're going to delve into the details we all know that egypt is very precious because god have chosen egypt as uh, for the uh, holy family to take refuge into egypt and he said uh, he acknowledged them uh, he, he talked to them uh, in the holy book and said uh, you're going to be safe and it's, a, it's going to be a safe haven for you and they just uh, immediately started their uh, trip, the holy trip, uh, is, uh, they, uh, they fleeing from Herod uh, all over to and took the, the course of the, um, you know, the rest of the story. If you like to elaborate. Indeed, indeed. Uh, to start with, I have to say Merry Christmas to, to uh, everybody actually in Egypt and around the world. Uh, recognizing that we celebrate Christmas here on the 7th mm. of uh, January as the, uh, uh, the Orthodox Church, the Coptic Orthodox Church, mm. uh, recognize this day as Christmas or the birthday for Jesus Christ. Uh, when we say Copts to start with, uh, we mean the Egyptians. Mm. Uh, because there is a common mistake uh, uh, when we connect the religion to nationality uh, means mm. that when we say Copts, it's a nationality, it's not a religion. That's why we would hear the Greek Orthodox Church, mm. the uh, Russian Orthodox Church. Mm. Then when it comes to the Egyptian Orthodox Church, we would hear the Copts. Coptic mm. Orthodox Church. Mm. So the word Copt means uh, an Egyptian, mm. uh, uh, and actually uh, 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 it got an origin, Hikabitah, that was uh, uh, the uh, uh, original uh, uh, word, an ancient Egyptian word, that it became uh, uh, Gebet, uh, Geptos, and that was the, uh, the name of Greek. Egypt mm. uh, 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 in Greek, and the inhabitants of this country, mm. they were called Copts. Mm. Then, starting from the first century mm. AD, Christianity appeared in Egypt when San Mark brought Christianity to uh, Egypt, to Alexandria mm. in particular, which was the capital of Egypt at that time. And that's why uh, uh, the Pope of Alexandria, his, uh, and by the way, we, are, we know that there are two Popes in the world, the Pope of Rome and the Pope of uh, Alexandria, mm. uh, 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 who's sitting on the seat of San Mark. Mm. But before this, the Holy Family uh, came to Egypt. Uh, the story started when Herod, or Herodos, the uh, Roman king uh, 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 wanted to uh, kill the child, Jesus mm. uh, uh, Christ, because he's the king of the Jews, as he was uh, uh, told. Therefore, he ordered that uh, uh, all the kids should be killed, mm. or the infants, all the babies should be killed. What happened that Joseph the carpenter saw uh, in his dream the angel telling him that you've got to take Virgin Mary and Jesus Christ, the child, the baby, the infant, to a safe land, which is Egypt. <coughs> uh, 
therefore they came from Palestine via uh, Sinai mm. uh, entering Egypt from the uh, northeast uh, exactly I'm talking about Rafah uh, then uh, Larish then uh, via uh, Rafah El Arish uh, Al Farma which is to uh, the east of Port Said and Port Fuad then afterwards they went uh, uh, further to uh, the south west towards uh, uh, Sharia mm -hmm. uh, 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 governorate uh, Tal Basta uh, then uh, they took their uh, route afterwards to uh, uh, Al Garbiya. Uh, actually, we have the Samanud, we have Sakha uh, uh, also uh, uh, before it, and then uh, they made like a U turn and they started to uh, go further to the west near uh, what's known now as Wadi Natrun or mm. the Natrun Valley. Mm. And the, the amazing thing that wherever they stopped, a church or a monastery was built uh, mm. afterwards. Uh, until now, these churches and monasteries are like in Wadi Natrun, for example, mm. or in Natrun Valley, we have four four mon monasteries are uh, over there. Then from there, they went further to the, uh, the east uh, until we reach Al Matariya. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's where we have the tree of Virgin Mary. And that's where they rested for uh, some time uh, uh, there. Uh, afterwards, they went to uh, Old Cairo via uh, Fatimite Cairo. Fatimite Cairo afterwards, of course, but I'm talking about uh, 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 Zuela uh, mm -hmm. Ali uh, Church. Uh, there is a church of Virgin Mary uh, uh, there and several churches. Then they went to Old Cairo, the area which is uh, known now as the religious complex where we have uh, several churches. Uh, actually, it was a Roman fortress. It was called Babylon Fortress. Then uh, afterwards, several churches were built in there, including uh, San Sergius and Pacus mm. Church. In that church, there is a, a crypt where the Holy Family stayed then for some time. Uh, in there. Joseph the Carpenter chose this area because that area at the time was inhabited by the Jews. And when we say uh, 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 the Holy Family, they were Jewish originally. So he mm. preferred to stay uh, between uh, his people for uh, some time over there. I am keep repeating sometimes because there are some sources saying that they stayed there for 40 days. Others said three months. Others said no, they were six months. Let's say they spent some time there in uh, that crypt or that cave, uh, uh, which became the first church in Egypt, the oldest part. And by the way, in that area, that's where you will find uh, you will find that Egypt was the melting pot for all the religions, all the cultures, all the people coming from all over the world. If you imagine that in this area, we have the oldest synagogue in Egypt, the oldest church in Egypt, That's true. the oldest mosque in Egypt, and mm -hmm. we are talking about few meters between all of them and uh, uh, that's the area where the Arabs afterwards built the first Islamic capital uh, uh, in uh, Egypt. Mm. So the area actually is very extremely uh, rich when, and we have there uh, uh, many churches that mm. they are really extremely important like uh, uh, the crypt where the Holy Family stayed in and the, uh, a church was built on the top, uh, St. Sergius and Pacus. It, wa it couldn't be dedicated to them, it was dedicated to Virgin Mary. Mm. But the churches carrying their names, the two soldiers who lost their uh, 
uh, life. There we have the hanging church, and by the mm. way, a very popular one. Uh, it's a very extremely popular the hanging church or the suspended or al muallaqa mm. uh, 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 church that was built on the uh, the top of the two Roman towers that uh, 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 remain from uh, 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 the Roman uh, fortress uh, mm. over there. Uh, from that area, they went to Maadi. And another church was built in there, and that's the point where they crossed the Nile to the West Bank, going to uh, a, a place which is known now as Mitrahina, the ancient Egyptian name, of course, was Memphis. They went to Mitrahina, and from Mitrahina, they went further to uh, the south. And again, we'll find the caves, like in Gabal al uh, 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 then we'll find also some other uh, monasteries and churches were built further down to, uh, uh, like uh, al Maharra uh, uh, Monastery in Asyut. So several churches and monasteries were built wherever they went. And when we talk about the route that, or the bath they took, you can imagine that we are talking about like 3,500 mm. kilometers within Egypt. Mm. And they spent in Egypt sometimes some of the sources, they're, they're talking in between two and a half years, three years to five, up to five mm. years they uh, 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 spent in Egypt. And until uh, 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 the Roman king died, and that's when they retained back to uh, Palestine. Uh, we have to put in mind that Egypt was always blessed by the visits of the uh, prophets to Egypt, mm -hmm. starting with Abraham, the prophet, when he came to Egypt. Mm -hmm. Then we will find Joseph and Jacob, the sons of Jacob, the sons of Israel, coming uh, to Egypt, living in here. Moses mm -hmm. living in Egypt. God talking to Moses in Egypt. Then Jesus Christ coming uh, uh, to Egypt uh, 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 to rescue the child. And that's why you will find that in the New Testament, uh, 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 blessed are my people Egypt. Mm. Uh, yes, I believe that not only the, the Christians in Egypt, but the Muslims, the Jews, the, uh, and the Christians definitely, they all feel that their country is blessed by mm. God. Of course. Uh, we need also to, uh, it's important to when we remember uh, the path of the Holy uh, Family and revive it uh, because the government is reviving uh, it and uh, uh, in collaboration with the Ministry of Environment also um, creating what is known now as the eco uh, tourism and uh, the planting of one million tree and uh, of course amazing ideas. Uh, let us just uh, remember the important stops, the highlights and story behind each, like, for example, the tree that Virgin Mary uh, used to uh, rest and, uh, you know... The uh, sycamore tree uh, 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 in Mataraya. Right. Uh, uh, and uh, that area... Why uh, is it so special? And other monasteries that they t took refuge and uh, what was so special about when, uh, specific uh, monasteries or specific uh, places that they... Uh, stayed for a while? Actually, uh, when they came to Egypt, they, they followed a certain path. That path was known some time ago by the Coptic Church. Mm. And recently, to tell you the truth, the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities I are, uh, is playing a major role in this uh, with the cooperation mm. of uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, mm. Culture, uh, Ministry of Culture, uh, even the NGOs. Uh, so you can say that the country is really cooperating in this up to 
uh, that two weeks ago, I think we still remember the, the visit of the president to Old Cairo, uh, that area, to reveal that project of mm. uh, 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 restoring and uh, uh, spotting a light on that route. Mm. The visit of the Pope of Rome, the Pope of the Vatican, I'm talking about Pope Francis, to Egypt in 2017, that helped a lot. The, uh, uh, the Vatican recognized the bath as uh, a, a pilgrimage mm. to Egypt, and they did visit Egypt mm. following this bath. From our side, we are doing a great job as a country, as a government, as people. Uh, if you imagine that they have to plant, for example, the palm trees all over the, the bath to uh, imitate the way at the time when uh, 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 the Holy Family uh, visited Egypt. Uh, when you have renovation for churches, whether in Old Cairo or in Samanud or in uh, 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 even the restorations at the monasteries in uh, Wadi Natron, in uh, Al Muharra, uh, the caves uh, uh, in uh, Gabal uh, in Al Minya, all of this is showing that uh, when we really have the will to do something, we can succeed in mm. that. And we are, from my point of view, we are doing very well uh, concerning uh, this point. The encouragement that we are receiving from the government, uh, 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 from the president uh, himself, actually uh, from the NGOs, from the businessmen. Uh, you can imagine how many uh, uh, people will get benefits out of this, we as a country, as the Egyptians. Mm. When we encourage tourism, this special kind of tourism, the religious tourism. By the way, this kind of tourism never stops. What stopped this kind of tourism, mm. it's COVID-19. Exactly. But, but without this, uh, uh, if you if you take it on, on the scale for the Muslims, for example, when they do, when they uh, make the pilgrimage to mm. Mecca, to Mecca. This, this kind of tourism it's going all the year around over mm. there, whether the Umrah or the pilgrimage that the Muslims and do. And giving special secrecy to the place. Indeed, the the the, the point is, indeed, actually, the the point is that you are. Uh, going to create jobs, you're going to employ people, you're going to sell Egyptian uh, products. The studies that were made, it's talking about uh, 15 billion mm. US dollars just for uh, the pilgrimage uh, that was recognized by the Vatican itself, and they came in uh, 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 to Egypt, I guess it was in 2020 uh, uh, when like 70 something, 73, there was a delegation came in here. Also, you have some Catholic tourists who already mm. started this bath. There are some uh, following uh, 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 this bath. There are some uh, 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 tourist companies itself uh, 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 started to have this uh, 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 bath on the uh, touristic map mm. of Egypt, mm. which is actually a kind of tourism that, uh, 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 again, never stops. Of course, it doesn't stop, but at the same time, it's being renovated and it's being empowered and enforced by the government. But at the same time, it uh, is um, giving um, Egypt uh, special importance. Indeed. Um, we did not create that important, this type of um, importance, but it was mentioned in the Bible, it was mentioned in the Holy Book or Quran, and it was mentioned in Tauran, everywhere. Uh, but, but then it's not only the path of the uh, Holy Family, but other uh, places too, like St. Catherine, 
like uh, um, 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 other places, like in, uh, I mean, uh, places um, uh, like synagogues, uh, for example, in um, Midtown, uh, Cairo, and uh, everywhere else w where they are located. I mean, like you earlier kindly mentioned that Egypt is a cradle uh, that gathers uh, more than one religion. Uh, the tolerance of Egyptians embracing religions together, we have that harmony. We have to put in mind always that Egypt, it was always an open country mm. for several immigrations from all over the world. And that's, by the way, that's what created Egypt. That's what made Egypt, Egypt as a great civilization because when you talk about a great civilization it's give and take so i want you to imagine that if there if there was any dryness to the east to, uh, or to the west of egypt because where egypt is located that's desert apart from the nile that runs through the country so whenever there was uh, 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 mm. dryness mm. to the east or to the west, people were moving to Egypt. Wars in the Mediterranean or in the southern part of Europe, people were moving to Egypt. Floods mm. to the south, people were moving to Egypt. All of this created this country, the melting pot of mm. different people, different beliefs, living together. And that's something I think, I think we should be proud of. But talking about Egypt as a religious center, if you for the Jews, that's where Moses mm. grew up. For the Christians, that's where Jesus Christ and the Holy Family exactly. came. And there is something I'm always saying. This land was the first land Jesus Christ touched with his feet when he started to walk mm. as, as, as a child. So the first land he walked on was Egypt. Mm. Right then, when you have Islamic Egypt uh, afterwards, or Islamic civilization uh, 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 in Egypt, we have, for example, the biggest Islamic museum in the world. That's mm -hmm. in Egypt. Uh, you you have places where uh, 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 the first Muslims and holy ones were buried, also here, from the family of. Uh, our prophet. So you are talking about a very special country and if we decided to use the religious tourism on a larger scale, I think we will get out uh, 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 of this with many benefits for the people, for the country, for the economy. It's not only this area. As, as you uh, kindly mentioned a few minutes ago, uh, 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 the monastery of uh, Sinai, I mean, uh, uh, that monastery, I forgot the name, uh, San, uh, what's her name? Uh, all right, the one in uh, Sinai, uh, they ha we, we have uh, pilgrimages coming mm. uh, uh, specially to uh, visit the monastery and they come from Israel and that has, has been the situation for uh, 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 many times. I'm talking about St. Catherine, I'm sorry, mm. uh, I just Saint forgot, mm. uh, forgot the name. Uh, I'm talking about St. Catherine, this is one of the, the places. When you have the Red Sea cruises going around mm. the Red Sea mm. and this is one of the stops. Mm right, uh, in uh, Sinai, or also some other uh, monasteries by the Red Sea uh, 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 on the way to Zafarana, for example. Mm. Uh, uh, so there are several uh, monasteries and churches could be visited by uh, several Christians around the world, and that's what's happening already. And mm. it has been done for some time, and we are doing a good job in uh, 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 renovating these places. I have to mention the NGOs because they are doing uh, mm. a major job uh, mm. uh, in that. The civil society. Uh, I, I don't want to mention names mm. uh, concerning these NGOs or the travel companies, but right. when you have Mr. G Gabur, for example, Munir Gabur, mm. or, uh, who started Unfortunately, this. Unfortunately, 
we're not supposed to be mentioning names, but civil society is very active when it comes to uh, giving a boost to uh, tourism in general. It does help mm. indeed. Uh, on this uh, note, uh, we'll have to end it here, of course, uh, Mr. Iheb Wagdi, your uh, tourism expert and a historian and Egyptologist. Thank you so much. You're more than and welcome. You have, uh, Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you and to the whole world and to the Copts. I mean the whole Egyptians, whether of all of us. Christians or Muslims or, or Jews, all of us. Merry of Christmas to everybody. Same to you. And uh, we, uh, we're going to go to a short break and we'll come to continue the breakfast show, so stay with us.